there's a dog in that little shed. I don't know what the situation is. That's a very traditional vessel for cooking in. It's very, very old too. I mean, I don't know if this one is very old, but it's a very old style. So I don't really know what the deal is with the next door dog. But, uh, and I don't know what that woman's uh, cooking in that pot. But I'll keep an eye out. Maybe I'll find out. I made no bones about my watching her and using the camera. Technically, it's illegal to uh, slaughter dogs for food since 1988. I mean, they put that law on the books for the Olympics in 1988. But I'm sure, I'm sure everybody was told, no, and they don't enforce it. It's just to keep the United Nations happy or to keep the Olympic Committee happy or to keep visitors to Korea happy. Well, yeah, it's on the books. Oh, yeah, well, we can't find everybody who slaughters dogs. And uh, I'm not saying that the slaughter Slaughtering animals, yeah, I am saying it. The slaughter of animals is cruel. Humans do not need to eat animals unless that's the only thing available to eat, really. In my opinion, if that's the only thing available to eat, well, I'm not going to say starve to death, of course not. But we live in a, in a world where almost anybody anywhere can eat almost anything. I mean, we have so many things available. Why do you have to torture a dog for a day or more before it, it dies and then you skin it and eat it? I don't, I don't see any reason for torturing an animal. Hi, babes. You want to be on camera? Here you are. Those are my cats in the window, keeping an eye on things over here. I don't know what those kids are. It could be uh, Taekwondo or um, one of the other martial arts. I don't know. Uh, someone's coming in to park. Gotta move. Um, I, I don't mean to apply. I'm not saying that uh, that these, th this dog in the cage is destined for the dinner table. I'm just, I was just making a general comment about how Koreans torture dogs before they slaughter them for food. <laughs> Gotta sniff me all over, huh? Okay, where have I been? Sniff, sniff, sniff. I smell of the outside world. Um, I'm just curious what's going on with the neighbors. And I'm not, I don't know, I'm not saying anything about them. I'm just curious. It's a Taekwondo. Yeah. It's a Taekwondo Academy right right there. Um, on the left of that window, uh, if you're reading from the other side, it would be Tae 
So I'm almost certain that's Taekwondo. And the one on the right is the name of it, whatever it is, I, I don't remember. Yeah, it is Taekwondo. It is not Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Anybody who says Taekwondo doesn't know diddly squat about what they're saying. It's pronounced te quan do guan, not guan, or quan. <laughs> Some little kid just stuck his head out the window. He's apparent. Thank you. He's apparently really bored of what's going on over there, and I think I would be too. The mindless repetition to get the taekwondo form embedded in your mind. Right? You don't need it. You're a born Taekwondo master. Mistress. Whatever. Uh, a woman... I've never seen girls do Taekwondo. Actually, even like in class sometimes I'll ask, oh, I'll ask women, I'll say, oh, do you play, do you play softball? Do you play um, um, soccer? Uh, play anything? Uh, most of them play nothing. Nothing. Oh, do you, did you study Taekwondo? <laughs> of course not, I'm a girl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's where I live. Pap, don't go outside. You're going to... So, hey, guys, guys, no. No, no, come back. Come back. I feel like Willy Wonka. No, no, stop. Don't. <laughs> where, where am I going with this video? Nowhere. That's where. I went to the store to get some stuff to eat because I'm hungry. So I'm going to go make it and eat it. Wish I could help you, mate. The prime directive of an expat in a foreign country is don't get involved. Sorry. What if they do start, what if they do take the dog out and start torturing it, preparing it for slaughter? What should I do? Should I intervene if that happens? I think that's a good question. 